In a previous video, we were playing with fire and flash cotton, and at the end, we played with like a podium, which is how we taught you how to breathe fire. And a lot of you had awesome suggestions. Some of you are saying you could use uh, coffee creamer or powdered milk instead of like a podium, and then others also said you could use cornstarch, and then someone also said you could use powdered milk, magnesium powder, grain dust, and titanium sparklers to give a beautiful sparkling effect. That kind of freaked me out, and I wasn't here for the titanium sparkles, but we're definitely gonna try out the magnesium powder. Shout out to you guys for knowing what powders also catch on fire besides like a podium, and today we're gonna put those plus a couple others to the test. Okay, so to start this out, we're gonna start with the like a podium because we know this works and it's our baseline test. It's basically the control of this whole video. Then we're gonna go from there and try out some of these other products. We have two different types of coffee creamer that we're going to try out today. So we also have two different baby formulas. One of them has a base of corn syrup, which is this gentle one, and then the infant one has a base of nonfat milk as the number one ingredient. So I was curious to see if there was gonna be a difference between the two and if one of them burned better than the other. And then turmeric was a surprise for me. It acts very similar to cinnamon. So we're gonna give that a try as well. But first we have to start with our like a podium. So one thing I wanna look at with all these different powders is the consistency of them. Some of them are a little chunkier and chunkier than others, and some of them are very thin powders. Lycopodium is a very thin powder. So this is our baseline, and we're gonna compare all of them before we light them on fire. So for this test, we're using a half inch um, diameter tubing, a vinyl tubing that I just got at Home Depot. You can get it at any hardware store. And then we're just gonna use our wonderful fire torch here so that I don't have to hold the uh, little lighter in my hand and we're getting better results with this guy. Um, so yeah, but if you wanted to, you could just tape it to the end of a lighter and that would work just as well. Like a podium, test one, here we go. We got a very nice fireball that just went whoo. The Lycopodium does a great job of just spreading out and dispersing into a powder and just becoming this amazing just of smoke and fire. And it's beautiful every single time. Um, so let's move on to another one since that's our baseline and we know what we're looking for from now on to what our next one should be. So let's go ahead and test out these coffee creamers. This is the Coffee Mate coffee creamer. This is the Enjoy brand coffee creamer. So first thing off the bat that I notice is this is way grainier. You can even hear it compared to the Lycoponium, but we're still gonna put to the test and see what happens. Whoa! That was crazy. Now it smells like French vanilla in here. So what's interesting is where the Lycoponium was very light and it just went up into the air, this coffee creamer is so much denser than the Lycoponium that it kind of shoots out and then goes past the point and then kind of disperses up. So that was really cool. Let's go ahead and let's do it again. Oh! <laughs> that one actually put out the light or the fire because it was so dense. That was so cool. All right, so this Coffee Mate creamer definitely works. So let's go ahead and give this Enjoy Coffee Creamer a try as well. Woo! That was a good one. I like that one way more than the Coffee Mate creamer. This one works really, really well because it gets that like powderiness everywhere and it's not so dense with those sugar crystals. Um, so yeah, our coffee creamers, Flammable. You can definitely turn them into a um, fireball. Definitely different than the Lycopodium, like we talked about before, where the Lycopodium very much goes up and disperses. These kind of shoot out past the flame and then rise just a little bit. Mostly they fall back down. The next one we want to give a try is this cornstarch um, and see what it does because I'm very intrigued by it. Cornstarch is very light and fluffy, very starchy. Um, I feel like we're gonna have very good results compared to like a podium. But it feels like a mixture between like a podium and the coffee creamer texture wise. It's, it's a little heavier and it likes to be dense and together. So we'll, we'll see what happens when it gets dispersed through the air. But it does turn into a powder really, really easily and really well when you introduce basically a breeze into it. Yeah. Okay, cornstarch. Woo! That one went up there 
better than the Leica Podium, I feel like. I don't know if it was just a good like, boom, or if it was just how cornstarch does its thing. Cornstarch and Lycopodium are so far my favorite reactions. I'm very pleased, very happy about them. Um, let's go ahead and give this turmeric a try. I'm very intrigued to see what happens here. Ooh! It's sparkly. It definitely gives more of a blue color. I feel like I can be a little bit closer to this one when I send it flying through the air. <laughs> I love that the turmeric comes out in this like large chunk at first and then it like disperses because I think I just have too much in here. Um, so I'm gonna do a little less this time and see if I can get the turmeric to be really nice and airy. Oh, nope. <laughs> turmeric, kind of gave us a cool effect but not like fantastic. So let's go ahead and try the magnesium powder that you guys had suggested in the comments. This is magnesium. And what's really interesting is that the other ingredient in here is citric acid. It contains no sugar, no fructose, no starch, or no artificial color or flavor. So this is really interesting because we've tested cornstarch, we've tested material that has sugar in it. So now we're basically testing out citric acid and magnesium. So this is gonna be pretty interesting to see if this works. The consistency of it is very similar to, I would say it's a cross between cornstarch and honestly, kind of this coffee creamer. It has a similar consistency. Um, Cause it has like the little chunks in it. So I'm kind of interested to see how this one does. Like it does it turn into a really good powder or does it not? All right, this is the magnesium powder. Let's go, there you go. Nothing. You can literally see it falling through the air. I feel like I'm in snow. Um, it's really thick. Like the particles of it are really thick. Yes, it turns into a powder, but it doesn't have that light, airy, fluffy feeling. It's just kind of whew, these thick particles that are flowing, floating through the air. So let's go ahead and give it a try again. See if it was me or if it was the magnesium powder. Yeah, doesn't do it. So it's pretty interesting because you know magnesium powder doesn't catch, but it has it doesn't have any sugar or starch. So that's basically what both of these have in them, the cornstarch especially. And then you have sugar in the um, coffee formula. So magnesium powder is a no-go. Our next one here is whole milk. This one's kind of interesting to me because it is a little denser has a little bit of the same consistency of the coffee creamer, I would say, um, or even the magnesium powder, but this is whole milk powder, so it's gonna be very interesting to see if it, if it works or not. I was not expecting that. expecting that because it'd be like coffee creamer right that was wild that was beautiful that was better than the coffee creamers though so I highly recommend using whole milk as your guy compared to like a podium this is my new favorite now we're gonna give flour a run we do know from a previous experiment that flour is flammable um, and it shouldn't be in its powdered form near an open flame in the kitchen so we're gonna go ahead and give that one a go flour very similar consistency to um, cornstarch so I feel very good about this flour combination. Flour. <laughs> Woo! Go flour! Pretty much what we expected for flour to do. Now we're going to give a test to um, this product called Athletic Greens. It is a green substitute and it has like a bunch of healthy nutrients and stuff in it. It smells just like you would, it looks. So I was curious to see if they were part flammable. <laughs> uh, 
I don't know what's in it, but it likes to be flammable. Let's do it again. Woo! That's so cool. I had no idea it was gonna do that. Oh, I love it, okay. Second to last, we have these energy drink mixes. I would give them a try because they have a lot of sugar in them. Um, and we found really good results with that. So we're gonna go ahead and try one of these, see what happens, and then move on to the last experiment of the day, the flaming baby powder food. Nothing. A whole lot of nothing. To be expected because it's not very powdery, it's kind of condensed and doesn't turn into a powder when it's like blown on. So we know that. Finally, we have our non-fat milk-based baby powder food thing. It has a similar consistency to this non-fat or this whole milk. They can pack the same, which makes sense because this is this one does have a uh, non-fat milk base. So maybe we'll get similar results to the milk. <laughs> has a little fire. No, it's not as big as like the whole milk formula. Um, I would be interested on testing a whole milk formula for a baby, like the baby mix, but let's go ahead and test out this, um, the one that has corn syrup as the main ingredient because I'm very intrigued about this one as well. Corn starch based baby food. I think the corn syrup based baby food did much better, which is still concerning on the gentle baby's belly that it's flammable. The biggest shock of the day for me was the athletic greens. That's basically this substance that has a bunch of minerals and healthy things in it and helps you get your servings of vegetables in for the day. That was really cool. Um, the other one that I thought that was really awesome to see was the whole milk. That one was actually very shocking to me that it did as well as it did in its powdered form. Um, honestly guys, I think all of these are great substitutes for like a podium. Um, if I had to choose one, I would definitely go with the whole milk. And then after that, I would definitely go with cornstarch. I think that the whole milk did a better job than the cornstarch did and it created this really big fire power fluff ball thing. Um, and you can get more whole milk and more bang for your buck than you can with cornstarch. So that's definitely the direction I would go. Thank you so much to our friends that put in comment suggestions about what we could test against like a podium to get an even better fireball. If you have a video suggestion, drop them in the comments because we're back to our old ways of pulling out your comments and making videos of them. Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you check out the video that started this craze of us basically breathing fire with this video right here.